quick and dirty Land Cruiser. And today I want to talk about the, I feel like the best or most fun mod, cheapest fun mod that I've done to my FJ60. And it is adding a header, which aren't real expensive. Uh, I think that header is maybe two or $300. Um, and then adding the Flowmaster and the exhaust all the way back. Had a muffler shop do it. And um, that's a 44 series Flowmaster. And you can see the header collector pipe here. Going down. <clears throat> but I will say that is uh, one of the most fun best mods I've done to this truck. It changes the sound drastically of these trucks. Um, they're, uh, and maybe some guys with more expertise on this can chime in, but they've, uh, they're low revving V8, you know, this thing, I mean, I'm sorry, six cylinder, straight six. Uh, it sounds more like a V8 when you do this mod. And the uh, engine, I guess it's because the engine is a, it's a, I guess a uh, low, it's a, I don't know how to explain this, but it's a low revolution type motor. It, it doesn't rev over probably, I mean, really you're getting into the max RPM around 3,700, 3,800 RPMs. <clears throat> so it's kind of like a little diesel. Uh, most guys will, I mean, if you have a 60, you know this. Uh, if you don't, you know, if you look at the tachometer here in the middle, which is a great little spot for the tack. It's in the dead center of the two uh, <clears throat> larger gauges there, which is just a fantastic spot to put your your tachometer. <clears throat> That's uh, something straight out of the, the Porsche book. But, um, you know, if you, as you see, you're redlining around 4,000 RPM. So this is, it's, it's a, 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 I think I call it a long throw, six cylinder, straight six. And uh, please tell me I'm wrong if you, uh, <clears throat> disagree with that or if that's not correct and again please uh subscribe i will respond to any questions any comments uh that anybody might have <clears throat> about any of these projects i've done so i did put this this header on myself and <clears throat> when you do it you do have to put uh a new intake gasket on and you do have to line those up together i did it by myself i didn't but it would be nicer to have a buddy kind of help you to do it um, to get everything to seal out right, I added these, um, I just went to the hardware store and got some stock pieces of metal, drilled holes in them and cut them out just to make this, uh, these flanges on your header seal up good. So I did that, you know, years ago now, and, uh, I've maybe tightened it up once and, uh, it, I don't have any header leaks. It's held up good. And I coated these headers with a, a header paint. Um, and it's held up pretty good. And every once in a while, I'll, I'll touch that up. But if you look at this, this is called a, uh, sorry for the noise out here. It's a, I don't know, it's got a, it's got some sort of brand on there. I got it from, uh, uh, I'll, I'll post later in the video where I bought mine. I'll have to look it up. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but they're about 250 bucks. Then, uh, you know, putting your uh, exhaust on, uh, you know, it might run you a couple another two or three hundred dollars. Uh, but it's a, just a fantastic sound. Uh, I'll crank it up. So you can...
gives you more power, makes the performance better, and it sounds awesome. So it's really okay. a great guys. Here's another attempt to give you a little taste of uh, the great exhaust on the 16.